In teamwork projects, a milestone represents a point of progress in your project. You can make users responsible for a milestone, set its due date, and even attach multiple task lists to a milestone. So here we are in the milestones tab of our project, and we can see a full list of all of our milestones in this project. So looking at the milestones themselves, we can see the date that the milestone is due. We can easily mark our milestone as complete or uncomplete the milestone. We can see the milestone name. We can see how many comments have been added to the milestone. We can see any tags associated with the milestone. We can see who is responsible for the milestone. If there's a description for the milestone, we can also see that. We can edit, delete, add comments. We can quick view our milestone. We can add tags and we can attach task lists. Over on the right hand side, we can see how far away the due date for the milestone is. Open milestones can clearly be identified by their gold color here. Completed milestones are green and late milestones are red. Up here at the top, you can see that we can browse all milestones. We can select just completed milestones and we can also get a calendar view of our milestones. So let's just go back to all milestones for now. Over on the right hand side, we can sort our milestones by date. We can sort them by name or we can sort them by the user who is responsible for them. And we can alternate between ascending and descending order here. So now that we're familiar with the interface of the milestones tab, let's look at adding a milestone here. So in the add a new milestone window, the first thing we need to do is give our milestone a name. Below this, we can set the due date for our milestone. So let's set that for two weeks from today. We can also choose who is responsible for the milestone. So this doesn't just have to be one user. We can select as many users as we like. So let's say that I want to add Charlie and Billy. So now all three users are responsible for this milestone. We can choose to notify these users by email and we can also choose to send reminders. So let's just disable email notifications for now. Below this in the description tab, we can add a description for our milestone if we want to. Looking at the privacy and followers tab, we can select who can see this milestone. So this is currently everybody on the project. However, we can select specific users here. Below this, we can select who should follow the milestone. So we can just select our users here. We can search for a user. We can select by role. So let's go with the editor role there. We can toggle on or off whether or not we want observers. And once we're happy, we just select update and we can remove any of these users by selecting the X icon next to their name. In the tags tab, we can easily add tags here. And once we're happy with the milestone we're creating, just select add milestone. And now you can see down at the bottom of the page there that our editing milestone has been added. Now that we've added our milestone, let's look at attaching task lists to that milestone. So we just need to hover over our milestone and select attach task list here. Then we just need to select a task list from our drop down menu here. So since we created an editing milestone, let's go with the editing task list. So now that we've added a task list, you can see that we have a progress bar here showing our percentage complete. And this dynamically updates as you complete your tasks in the task list. So if we add another task list here, and this time we'll go for the written content task list, you can see that our progress complete has gone down to 10%. And we can easily detach a task list by just selecting the detach option here and then just confirming it. And now it's just the editing task list. Up in the top right of our milestones tab, we have the option to add multiple milestones if we want to. So here again, we just select our due date, add a name for our milestone, select who's responsible for the milestone. We can add any followers. We can say whether or not this is private and whether or not to send an email. So let's just quickly fill this in. So once we're happy with what we filled in here, we just select add and that milestone is being added. And now we can create another milestone here if we want to. Once we're happy, just select create milestone. And however many milestones we added, those will all be created. If we want to delete a milestone, we just need to hover over that milestone and then select the delete option. And once we confirm this, our milestone will be deleted. Looking back at our options drop down here, we can also choose to export our milestone as a calendar PDF, agenda PDF, we can export to Excel or to iCal. We can easily refine the list of milestones being displayed by using the filters option here. So we can filter down our list of milestones by using keywords, who's responsible for the milestone. We can filter by date, tags, followers, who created the milestone. We can choose whether or not we want to show private milestones, show attached task lists, and show percentage complete. We can easily clear our filter here if we want to, or we can save it. Once our filter is saved, we can just go to the saved filters tab. So in our saved filters tab, you can see that we already have a social media milestones filter. And to the right hand side, you can see that there's an options drop down where we can edit the details of our filter, share our filter or delete our filter. 
And that's it, that's all you need to know to be able to use milestones in teamwork projects.